I actually feel really relieved to have got it out and have been done with, and I think we can do better. I think it's a great album, um, and I think that the time that's come out in, in England, it, people just haven't listened to it with open ears, you know, there's been too much baggage, ex-boyfriends, blah, 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 and I think it's actually really sad because I think because I was the female in the relationship, you know, people are that much more inclined to go, oh, well, you know, riding on the coattails, blah, blah, blah. Did you get sick of people always talking about that? Though? Well, I mean, I, the interesting thing is like, we were just about to do a tour in America, and the album's had amazing reviews there. It got five out of five in Rolling Stone, and every day, the first load of, of interviews I was doing in America, Jonas were going, we love the album, and I, and I, I was like, really? I was so surprised, because, you know, I was just so used to kind of like having, being slagged here, and uh, I actually quite enjoy getting bad press, but it was totally shocking to, like, for someone to like it. And I think because they don't know who the fuck Blur are there, they listen to it like Elastica or a band. It doesn't fucking matter who I've had a relationship with, you know. I mean, people who are into music tend to hang out together. And, it, you know, the whole notoriety, fame game thing totally sickens me and always has done. But, you know, I was in love with another musician and, and he happened to get famous and so did I. And, 